Okay. Now we're going to try something that I've never done before. But yeah, we're going to see how this works. We're going to do something I've seen somebody else do, and we're going to change it up a little bit to give it our own little flair. We're going to deep fry a lobster tail. Oh, yeah. Okay. So our first step is we're going to get our seasoning. We're just going to go into a flour dredge, into an egg wash, and then into some panko bread, yeah, panko style breadcrumbs. Yeah. So I put in three quarters of a cup of flour and it's just a little plate with some breadcrumbs in it. Probably, probably about three quarters of a cup of that as well. Two eggs and a little bit of water here. So now we're going to season up our flour and probably put a little seasoning in our breadcrumbs too, just so we got seasoning at both sides. So I'm going to take this. And uh, onion and garlic. I'm going to put, let's go with a quarter. I don't want to over overdo it too much because I yeah. don't want to kill the whole flavor. How much? We'll just go with a quarter of a teaspoon of, this one's garlic, I think. Yeah, that's garlic. Garlic powder or? Powder, yeah. Powder, okay. And then onion powder. Okay. And do the same thing, a quarter same. teaspoon on that. Okay. Is that all you're juicing it with? I'm going to put some Old Bay seasoning in there. Oh, okay. So there's onion and garlic. Oh, I'm you gonna, just put it in the flour side? In the flour side, just okay. for this. And I'm going to put a... That's a quarter. We'll go with a half teaspoon of salt. Just going to have some salt in the whole thing. You know, my history professor in high school used to always call these cockroaches of the sea. And I <laughs> thought he was just making that up until I read that actually people actually did call them. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they are kind of gross looking if, yeah. you, if you sit and stare at them too much. Yeah, if it's not your bag, you know. That's about a quarter teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. All right. And then we're going to go with, um, I'm going to say, this is the quarter. So we're going to put a half teaspoon of Old Bay. So two, one of the quarters, two quarters of Old Bay. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little Old Bay as well over in our breadcrumbs. Oh, so we get a little extra there. Okay, seems like everybody loves Old Bay. Yeah, it's good with it's so good with seafood. Yeah, I do it on a on a shrimp boil that deal that I do, steam spice shrimp, and I use right, that. Right, right. I love those. You know the peel and eat ones. Love oh, yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me grab another whisk over here since I got that one all. Used to go to a place uh, that. Atrium House in uh, Greencastle, um, Pennsylvania, my Amish country, and they'd have uh, all-you-can-eat steamed spice shrimp on really? Wednesdays. And it would be the, the big bodybuilder dudes would come in. Oh, really? And I don't know why. Maybe they can eat a lot of that, but this guy would eat plate after plate, and it's like I would abandon him from the restaurant because it was that much. I ate a lot, but, man, this guy was crazy. And I know they're into like proteins and all that stuff to get all those muscles pumped right. up. You, you that. should know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have trouble. it's obvious. Yeah, you have trouble like raising your hand up to comb even. Yep. It's just like, yeah. It's like when I get a suit, I, I walk around like this yeah. all the time. It's, you know, it's all right there. It's hard and you can't put your arms down. There's so turkey flaps right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got our, our little bits and pieces here. I'm gonna go ahead and start our oil up. Then I'll meet him high and get it going. All right. But now we got to deal with making the, these uh, lobster tails. You want a pair of scissors? Yeah, I'm going to need uh, I got a pair right here. I need something to cut this bad boy on. So I got room to. So we're going to grab a lobster tail. Ooh, I just took these apart. I like that these come apart. So we have a cold water lobster tail. Can they see that? Oh, they probably can't actually. I got too much stuff going here, on. Here, let me here. peek over here. Harry, you, now you're on. Okay. So you're on. So we're gonna start off by cutting down the middle of this lobster tail. I like lobster tails. I like when they're on sale with an entree, you know? When oh, where you get where you can add a lobster tail to yeah, your... They're never, like, great ones, but, like, at Outback does it sometimes for yeah. five bucks. And it's like, you you got to get it for five bucks. I make everybody at the table get them. Even yeah. if they don't want them, I'll Even take them for five bucks. Them. And those are all, uh, I think, 
I'm trying to remember. I think they grill them. Is that what they do? Yeah, and they just pull them out, like like I'm sure what you're going to do here. Right. You got to go around and loosen it up around the edges. Huh. So you know what the best way to communicate with a fish is? No. <laughs> just drop it a line. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a fisherman joke. Oh, That's not boy. even a preschooler joke. Yeah, that's a bad one. Yeah, if you're a fisherman, you, you're cracking up right now. You're having trouble pulling it back together. If you're a fisherman, you aren't watching the internet. You're, uh, you're out fishing. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you might be on our old shrimp boat right now. <laughs> you're back to, can't be doing these. If we watch them out of order, they're going to be uh, confused. I don't know if you all remember, but when our dad came back from <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> yep, he started up that shrimping business in Corbin. It's called uh, Bubba something, I can't remember. Something, something. Some Bubba name. something. Bubba something. Mm -hmm. A lot of fish, though. A lot of shrimp. Lots of shrimp. Lots of shrimp. Mm-hmm. You make shrimp a lot of ways, you know that? Yeah, you can. Mm-hmm. I've heard that. Yeah. I've not made them lots of ways, but I heard you can. Bubba. Bubba, if you watch that, that show, that Bubba show, that Forrest Gump there. Oh, that thing. Yeah. Shrimp kebabs. There's all kinds of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You're taking too long on this. You know how to do this? Um, I've made them before, but... I don't want to crack it, because then you can't pull it through. Yeah. You get a little one sometimes, or... You can probably crack it harder. Because you got to pull that thing out anyway. There you go. I heard that. Remember when they rebuilt my nose? <laughs> I was awake when they did it. Oh, really? And that really? was the sound it made when they stuck that, they stuck a chisel up my nose. Started uh, cracking it? And they hit it with a little hammer. And that's the sound it made. It was like, Shh. and then he moved it and it was like all loose. Oh, God. And it was crazy. Because it seen that little, little mirror thing. Oh, you saw could the see it? the whole thing. Oh, God. And it was like, the, the doctor goes, he said, can you give him something to put him out? And he goes, man, I've given him enough to knock out a rhino. And he said, I really am not allowed to give him anymore. Oh, gosh. And it was, I was just not juiced watching that. Oh, I bet. Thinking, man, that had to hurt. <laughs> yeah. Whoever that guy is, he's going to be miserable. Yeah. Man, if I was him, I'd be in pain right now. Out of body experience yeah, or whatever. I'd be kicking somebody's Ooh, butt. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. And then uh, I don't know if you remember or not. After I had it done, got it all fixed. Didn't you get it busted right away again? The very first day they took the packing out <laughs> and gave me a clearance to go out. I go up to the park and my best friend Larry, his brother, nicknamed Rambo John. John, yes. And I'm going down and I'm going to make a move on him and and I'm dribbling, dribbling. Now I went to cross Boom. over, and his head went right into my nose. Oh God! And I mean, it was. I stepped back, Straight and the blood up. was just Pouring flowing out. out of my nose. I mean, it was a puddle on that concrete court. Oh, oh God! Oh, and uh, yeah, it's. I had to get it redone two more times. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, two. You know basketball. You know you got. No, you're always. You got my, busted up. My nose is pretty yeah. well shot. And mine now, it's like if I hold it, you can feel it where it goes. Septum's all bent, but it's like I'm done. Too old to have that stuff so there anymore. We, so there you go. So we got it you just squeeze it back. And lay it out. There's no vein in this one. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, for a non contact sport, man, all my injuries except one were all basketball. Oh, yeah. Basketball was always the worst. Three knee surgeries, shoulder surgery. Nose three times. Had to have my head stitched back together. You can see my skull that time when that we played that team and they ran me into that upright at the oh, park. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, and that was intentional. And it just—I remember it was like it wouldn't stop bleeding. I didn't. It, I couldn't feel anything because it was numb. Right. And uh, it took me. I mean, it was like a year before I could feel anything up there when I'd touch it. <laughs> Brain dead. <laughs> Can't feel a thing! <laughs> Since I got this steel plate yeah. here. Coach! Coach! 
<laughs> Put me in the game. <laughs> I'll butt him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had that guy that worked for us. I don't know if you remember. I won't say his name, but his nickname was Ironhead. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say his name. No, we don't want to do that. Don't want to yeah. do that. All right, so we got so we got this thing done up. Yeah. And that's basically how you do it. So we're going to take this. I, I don't, there's no real reason. I mean, it's clean already. We washed it before we put it in. Yeah. So I think we're good to go. So what You're we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it in the flour. One side of it and the other. So we want our... I'm just going to lean this out, okay? Yeah. Do I need to check temperature on the oil? Yeah, you're fine. So we got our, so we got it dredged in the flour. Make sure to shake it all off so in case there's any, we don't want the flour coming off as we batter the thing, as we fry the thing up. Into the egg wash and into the other side of the egg wash. Yeah. Let that drip off a little bit. I've been bit. wanting to make one of these for a long time. I know. I hope it does. It, I've seen it before where that shell gets really red. I think that's, supposedly that's what's going to happen. Yeah, and it's really an attractive look. A lot of people love these. And then we take our seasoned panko breadcrumbs and we're going to put them in there and we're going to press it in so that we get it. I want to see how good it is because a lot of people are like, man, that's a lot of money to spend to deep fry. Oh, it is. But you know what? Sometimes deep frying stuff can be magical. Deep frying is magical. Yeah. And, and we're using lard, so. Of course. As always. Unless there's some reason we can't. We don't use lard. Yeah. You know, I still get a little grief about that from people. Yeah. They're like, you can't even buy, well, you can buy lard. It's, you can get lard. I'm anyway. telling you, we got to go to Walmart and get that brand. It's in a round deal, isn't it? Container, there's, yeah, there's I think it's, I think it's armor. Yeah, 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 armor it is. Yeah, you're right. All right, so we got that on there. So. But let's fry this bad boy. Let's move these, those over a little bit so we can bring our, our fry, our, our uh, Oil into the shot. Be careful. Don't let it splash you. Oh, man. I don't want... Y'all heard about me almost dying from that Check one time. Check and see if we got it in the shot there. Okay. Yeah, we don't want the... Because I'd like to get the... the don't want the magic lost. Oh, no. It needs to come my... Okay. I, I'm going to need... Just hold tight. Yep. Just hold tight. Okay. Sorry, yeah. folks. We, we wanna... You know, we need them, But we moved the camera around so much. I know. Um, let me just double check. Yeah, make sure we got this. You want good. this? This is beautiful. This is the, this is the magic. Yeah, that's that's dead center. That We're looks good pretty daggone good. So I'm going to take this out, lay it up. We got it. We got the breading on there. We're going to put it into the oil. All right. This should be a beauty. You gotta flip it. Try to make sure it's going into the wall. Oh. There we go. And it does. Look at how it turned red already. Yep. That's what the look is that everybody wants. Right. And that's why I wanted to do it, because on a plate, that red just pops. Oh, it does. And everybody's looking for something different. I mean, right. anybody can throw a boil lobster, steam lobster, throw it on a grill. The deep right. frying it and planko and flour and seasoning and that's a whole different game. Turns, it does definitely turns red. Yeah, I like it. That's kind of wild. I'm dying to taste this thing. I do have a little butter just in case because I, I I love butter with my with your lobster. Lobster, I do. I'm I'm the same way with crab legs. You gotta have it. You know, don't put your hand in that one. So this is going to cook uh, probably about four minutes, is it? Five, um, actually, probably about five or six minutes, actually, because we're going to have to maneuver it around back and forth to yeah. make sure we get it cooked all the way. Unless I flip it upside down, but I don't want to get the red on the lobster tail. Yeah. On, on, the, on the shell. And yeah. I don't want the top to scorch by laying on the bottom. Yeah. Remember when Dad had those fleet of shrimp boats? Wasn't he in the deadliest catch, too? <laughs> yeah. That's when we, uh, that's back when Corbin was closer to Alaska back then. Yeah, back when we were near the ocean. Yeah, it was different then. Yeah. 
It's not it's not the same there anymore. I don't know. There's no ocean views anymore. The glaciers came in, I think. Yeah. Wasn't it the glaciers? Something like that. I, I think it's a global warming, if I'm not mistaken. It came in, it changed everything. Everything. Existential threat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we got you gotta be careful now, I, I know. I think we're already we could go on to the disapproved list. We easily could now. Yep. Easily, easily could. It was, though, kind of funny when that boat got stuck for the global warming. Oh, God. Yeah. That was hilarious. Yeah. The global warming the conference. Everything's melting. Everything's melting. It's in a boat up the chain. It's frozen. <laughs> it's stuck in the ice. That was the funniest thing. I don't care what you're, who you're for, what you believe. That was funny. Yeah, that, that is funny. I just find humor, even if even if it's something that I kind of like. Even if it's serious problems, it's like the irony of things oh. is, is too good to, to well, pass up. I'm, I, you know, hey, I, I even went to one church I went to, and this, I shouldn't say this, but right. they, you know, we were kind of brought up, you don't drink, you know, we, we grew up Baptist, and you just don't drink, you right. know, right. alcohol. And uh, the church used actual real wine for communion. Oh, okay. And so the pastor of the church, I didn't agree with some of the stuff, and they gave me, gave me a hard time on some things. Right. And I said, I said, sir, I don't want to be disrespectful. I said, but I kind of don't understand how you can support one of the largest group industry that has more wives get beaten and their kids abused and cause more splits that you could support it by buying that. And man, he didn't even know what to say. <laughs> I was like, oh, I said, if you really had to use wine, we've all, I've grown up using grape juice. Right. I said, maybe you can grow it yourself so you're not having one of your parish members here go up and buy that stuff. Right. And yeah. man, he was, <laughs> and he's getting it case price. Oh, <laughs> just for the bargain. <laughs> I'm buying cases. It was like, Ooh. so I'm not picking on anybody. No, I, no. I'm an equal offender. Oh, golly, that looks great. That looks so good. Oh, my gosh, that looks good. How much longer are you going to cook that bad boy? I think it's probably about done. I do, too. Don't take a whole lot to fry up. I mean, they're very small. Yeah. So let's just pull this Pull out. that bad boy. Pull! Oh, my gosh. Can you see that? That beautiful bean footage? I'm going to transfer it. Oh, in. my gosh. This is hot as all get out. So yeah, it is. Be careful when you're handling this. Oh, man. man. So what do we do now? Your wife's not here to take a picture of this thing. That's a good point. I reckon we got to eat it. She's going to be so mad. I want to leave before she gets back. Well, once we eat, we can leave. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's let's do this. Oh, my gosh. So let's, uh, let's, let's kill this off. All right, folks. We, can we do this? Oh my gosh, I'm nervous, man. Nervous for two reasons. I don't want to get yelled at. Oh, man, did you see that? Yeah. Oh, buddy. That's a good piece right there. That is. This, this ain't got much on it. Okay, then that's yours. Now I'm going to go for another piece here. Oh, that looks oh, good. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells like lobster. Oh my gosh, this is so on hot, though. You going for <laughs> that was, it? That's another joke I can't, I can't tell. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Smells like lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God, man, that, that might be the best oh, lobster hot. I've ever eaten. Very hot. Oh, is that delicious? Mmm, that bread is not bad. A little butter here. I just want to see. Mmm, this really butter's kind of hard. Oh my gosh, it's so good. What do you think? Man, I'm like all over this one. Right. It's good. I'm trying to it think. Is. I might have kicked the spice. I might want to kick the spices up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean. If you're a spicy or eater. Right. I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's fantastic. If I get a restaurant, this would be perfect. Right. Now, if they had two options, the yeah, spicy, spicy version, version, I'd go spicy probably. Yeah. If you want to kick this up. I, oh, my gosh. I don't even remember how much I put in of everything. Here, I'm walking this over. i got to get yeah. this close. This is so good. I would never have believed it. I had heard about it for so long. Look at that. That thing is so juicy inside. And the shell, this is a beauty. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. That, that thing's delicious. It's good. It is no joke. It is, I really think it's the best lobster I think I've ever eaten. And I've eaten in Boston. and got twin lobsters there at restaurants. Oh, really? 
Well, because I was on GE and so was company, all company spits, so. That's a county eating. Money was no object. It wasn't mine. <laughs> Always liked the Spence County Eaton. That was, that was, really that good was good, wasn't it? Uh -huh, those were the good days. I, I missed that. But now we get to make all the food we want. And, and, and well, I guess we got to pay for it, though. We're going to buy it. And that's not so good. Okay, let's wrap it up. Yeah, it's good. You got more. Let's make a couple more of these before she gets back. We've got to make one for shooting purposes. Yeah. Let's eat this one. We'll let's get this. off. All right. Thank you so much. That was fantastic. I would up. highly, highly recommend it, especially if you can get these on sale. I yeah, mean, once in a while. Little, these were a little pricey. These were like nine bucks a piece. So they're yeah. a little pricey, but they're good. But, uh -huh. You know, I've seen it at Kroger's where they had them for uh, two for 15. And one time, unless I'm totally insane, they right. were two for 10.99. Right. Um, and, and if I could get them for two for 10.99, I'd buy me, I'd buy a few of them and fry them up like this in a minute. If I save some now, these over. are the cold water. You can also get the warm water lobster yeah. tails, which are a little smaller usually, but yeah. cheaper, way cheaper. That must be what they had at Kroger's. Right. So you must have got these Jungle Gems? Yep. Yeah. So these are the cold water lobster tails. Oh, man, tails. those are so good. That is so juicy inside. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, that, that was just about perfect. Oh, my God. Time. And, and the, that was beautiful. Like I said, if you if you want it spicier, yeah. you can definitely do spicy. That presentation is knockout, isn't it? Right. Shoot. It's amazing how it turns color like that. Oh, it, it, it's beautiful. So I guess let's wrap it. Yep, we're yep. good. And let's eat this. It's on, it, it'll be on with the time. Ooh. Once you see this, it's on the website, seniorskillet.com. Yeah. And it's our deep fried lobster tails. Yeah, excellent. Again, two thumbs up, absolutely delicious. Thank you. Thank you.